Hey friendos, how's it going? It's the Enforcer here once again with another jersey unboxing video. Very excited for this one. Reverse Retro 2.0 time. This one I did pick up from Sports K at SportsK.com for this one. So this is the one that we're going to be unboxing. But the other exciting thing is I also got the box from Ben H. So after this one, we're going to be busting out the care package from Ben H. Ben, appreciate you so much. Sports K, appreciate you so much. Um, there are still some available on there. So if you have not been able to purchase your own on the NHL store or team sites or whatever, as of recording right now, there are some still at Sports K, all right, be forewarned. So this one, I'm gonna open up, as you can see, gonna be a Dallas one right here. Um, this one I did talk to Ben about, and he was unsure about that. So I said, you know what, if you do get it, I, I think, you know, there's a good chance you're gonna be able to sell that. Um, but I may not be able to find another 60 so I told him I was gonna pick this one up not a problem with him and sports K my homies for over two decades so appreciate you guys over there I'm sure you guys are busy 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 as well okay let's see boom of course sports K not saying anything this time I'm sure <laughs> extremely busy they're like, man, we ain't got time to chit chat. Oh, but they do have time to throw a patch in. NHL Helsinki Premier. Appreciate you, Sports K. Thank you for that so, so much. But let's get to it. Oh, is there another one? Oh, two of them. Oh, nice. Oh, and NHL 125th anniversary. That looks, that looks spiffy. So, appreciate you for the two Helsinki patches and the NHL 25th. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Even more so. What do we got here? Oh, USA! USA! Got a self nice USA patch. I'm sorry, hat. USA hat. Um, who's the maker of this? American Needle. Got a nice, like, distressed, old-school looking... America hat. The unfortunate thing for me is I got such a big melon. I wear a fitted hat size eight. A lot of these snapbacks and um, Velcro um, held together ones do not fit my big melon. Um, but Sports K, thank you, thank you so so much for that, and thank you for this guy right here. So let's get to opening this one. Already loving that neckline. That looks beautiful. Beautiful. There is that right there. And let us see what we have here. Here is the Dallas Star. And of course, as let, let, let us be blessed by the bird. Thank you. All right. Here it is, the Dallas Stars Reverse Retro. Wow, man, this thing looks amazing. But the other thing that I am noticing, and I think uh, B BW made a video on this, um, the cut of these 2.0s. I'm starting to see um, that, yeah, it is much narrower in the sleeves like from top to bottom right here lengthwise shorter and right here in the inseam on either side tighter so adidas i thought you were all about scooping out plastic out of the ocean and repurposing them for jerseys and shoes and athletic clothing and saving the environment but you scoop out a little bit more and get proper sizing for your pieces if you're going to call this a 60 how about you have it go 
30 across the chest from armpit to armpit. So it truly is a 60. Otherwise, name it something else. But it's not going to be your problem in a few years. So hopefully whoever picks it up is going to be able to handle these things properly. So look at that. Old school Dallas Stars shoulder patch right there. Looking beautiful. The neckline as well with that green and the white with that reverse retro orange and black NHL shield looking beautiful on the back the Adidas three stripes and let's take a real good look at this star right here nothing is raised on this at all but the point in the middle where all of the different um because it feels like this is all one that this and this along with that being the opposite way or feels differently so it gives like that three-dimensional look but it actually is not it's not and on the back of course blank got nothing on this one and the stripe down at the bottom right there looking good so I worry about slapping this on because that flames one I thought because of the pedestal at the bottom was going to be a bit of an issue it just turns out that all of these are pretty much going to be an issue so oh and I'm guessing was it that uh, BA said June 2022 for the born on date there you go June 2022 uh, neckline does say right here Dallas 1993 looking beautiful all right man this man this is such an upgrade from the reverse retro 1.0 that they did that was essentially like a version of this but extremely muted mmm bit of a miss right there but let's see oh yeah you could tell the, the shortness of what's going on right there and yeah yeah these things are cut different I'm going to tell you that straight up if you were to get even an arrow ready homie like this or anything like that or a regular old prime green the cut is going to feel different much tighter around the chest much less of a hang here and just look how short they were already short that's why a lot of times I wear long sleeves because it makes it look like a three-quarter these jerseys now so I wear this to at least make me feel like I've got something but unfortunately there that is and yeah I can tell luckily most of the time I'm sitting down uh, uh, streaming so it really doesn't matter I if I were to wear these things out just real quick, run a couple errands, and then out I go. I don't really go out in these babies. They're just for myself and for me to share with, with you guys out there. So what I'm going to do is come on with me, friendos. Get yourself a real good look at this one. Beautiful piece, though, with everything I said. Beautiful piece. So right there, NHL logo. Down here with your stars. Look at that. That looks amazing. And like I said, this right here. My goodness. Does that look amazing? On down. Comparing it to this one right here. I mean, there's no dimensionalness here. You see they roll the gold and then roll it on into this one the green on this one is the same as their normal but look at the silver that they went with and then down at the bottom there is what you're looking for right there so there that is Dallas Stars reverse retro let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this one? I think this one is an absolute beauty. Um, 
Just wish the cut was a little different and whoever inherits the NHL uh, jersey uh, licensing and ability to manufacture these jerseys, I hope you change the cut process. I hope you go more into the old school CCMs, even the old Reebok cuts. I'd be fine with that. Adidas, if you were just to name it what it is, this is probably more of a 56. In a normal day, this is a 56. But Adidas claims it to be, even though on their website they'll say 4X, it's a 60. This is a two, this is a 2X56. Let's let's just not kid ourselves. Especially tight around the chest, flares out to the bottom. Probably does feel a little bit shorter too. So um, at first when I heard Adidas was leaving the manufacturing of this, I was a bit sad, but now once I see how they're just pinching every little corner, like take a take a quarter inch away from here, take another little bit out of here. I mean, you know, it's it's going to be a bit much. It's beginning to be ridiculous. But anyway, friendos, this jersey, looking at it, looks amazing. Let me know your thoughts. And we're going to start getting in to this Ben H box. So... Be on the lookout, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so that you know when I crack open these Ben H jerseys. All right, everybody, have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care, say something nice to somebody. You never know when that may uh, brighten up someone's day. Take care, all right, everybody? Have a good one. Bye.